Hello, everybody. Margo Labatt, her business, her voice, her conversation. Welcome back. Well, this week it's you and me together. What I am going to do is introduce a project that is very near and dear to me. It has been in the incubation formative stages for years now. And today I'm going to tell you all about the Podcast Academy Online. I'm going to answer some questions that people have asked me concerning the Academy. And I want to really excite you, ignite you, and have you come join us. If you've been thinking about joining the uh, podcast industry, but you want more information, uh, well, let me just get started. You know how I am. I get started talking. Let me answer some of the questions. First of all, some of you all don't know me, and someone asked me what inspired you to become a podcaster, and I had to really think long and hard about that because I think about podcasting as pod you podcast from the inside out. So I had to really go inside to understand what inspired me. I took it back to my book, the very first one that I wrote after I, here we go, after I became a podcaster. And what really inspired me to become a podcaster is that I did find my voice. I found it in music and interviewing musicians, letting them talk about their music, authors talking about their books. I found my voice and interest and my, my groove, as they may say. I found it all there. And um, everything, it, there was no going back, moving back from that time on to today. It has always been a hobby, but then at the top, at the end of 2017, uh, podcasting, really, I saw it as a business. I saw it as something that you take very seriously because I understood the power, not only that I have a voice, but I saw the power of my voice. I saw the power of influence. I saw how people expect you to show up in a certain way. And I took on that responsibility, I must say, loosely, but at the end of 2017, when we launched her business, her voice, her conversation, I took that responsibility on and I never really take that coat off. I'm always adding layers and layers and layers of responsibility of being a podcaster in 2020, the responsibility of coming out of corporate and feeling empowered and knowing what that's like. And and going through all of the ebb and flow of emotions and things you have to put into, into motion mentally and, and, and physically from the inside out to reinvent and become a podcaster, an entrepreneur, which is an ongoing thing and an author. So with all of that said, I am inspired to be a podcaster because I'm supposed to be a podcaster and I've taken that on. My voice has found its place and I am applying that so that others can find their voice and find their place. All right. Next question was, oh, what's your favorite part of being a podcaster? Man, I love interviewing folks. I really do. I know that it's a gift because people come on and they say, I just felt like I've been knowing you forever. And you know what? I feel the same way. A lot of times I will call somebody a guest and we just have a conversation. You know, you that's part of the vetting process. People appear one way on LinkedIn and other places and you just want to get a shout out and find out and let's have a little conversation. And um, before we even get halfway through the conversation, we have this kindred spirit and this high energy going and it's like we've been knowing each other other forever and ever and ever. So the interview process is really my favorite part of, um, of, of podcasting. I absolutely, I love it. And you learn so much. Oh my God, you learn so much. The guests that have been on Her Business, Her Voice, Her Conversation, you guys continually help me in my reinventing from the inside out. We 
podcast and from the inside out we reinvent each we reinvent ourselves and that's exactly what's been happening to me next question is what are your tips for others starting a podcast well some people may say she's on here plugging that academy yeah i am but i'm the question is what are your tips for starting a podcast and i have to take it all the way back to what i did because i built this academy out of the way that i was taught i learned how to build an organic strong business model podcast from someone who's been there done that doing it so that's the only way that i know how to really podcast and let it be sustainable so that is my tip get with somebody who's been there done that doing it and i'm not talking about somebody who's done it uh for a couple of months or they got to that dreaded uh, uh show seven or eight and then they dropped out but they're not letting you know that uh they have some longevity and as uh, tj mercer says they come out with the receipts so that's one of the tips that's the main tip this thing of podcasting is moving so very fast until you really need the guidance. I would say the first thing is get, if you don't come to the podcast um, academy online, then get someplace, get up under somebody who you can interact with and build out your podcast if you're really serious about it. If it's just a hobby, then, you know, there, there are a lot of uh, online classes that you can take and tutorials that you can consult. And I would venture to say you could go to YouTube and really, really launch a podcast, put it together and launch it. But if you're really serious, get up under the tutelage of somebody. Like I say, if you don't come to the Podcast Academy online, go someplace. And then the next tip uh, to starting a podcast is to do that inside work. Start building yourself up, get accustomed to your voice. And I'm not talking about how you sound, that's very important also. But what is your voice? What is your message? Nail that down early, your why. Everybody talks about your why, but oh my God, it is so important. It is imperative that you understand what your message is all about, why you are even undertaking this thing of a podcast and let me clarify something people think that a podcast has to be done every week every day actually you can have be a business owner or you can be an author and you can podcast monthly if you like just for your newsletter and send that on out and and post it up on youtube you're still a podcaster your message is for you to send out to your audience and you know what they're looking for you are out to serve them and you you the way you start out that's the way you want to continue on until you ratchet it up some you know so don't go into thinking that i have to commit to every day or i have to commit to once a, a week that's not what podcasting is all about it really really isn't so let's get rid of that myth right away another question that someone posed to me and they said marco when you do this video be sure to answer this what are the two ways you can help someone start a podcast first thing and i built the academy off of these two thought processes first of all we take a deep dive look at you I, you heard me say a podcaster podcast from the inside out. The very first modules are all about your perception. It's all about your your precepts, your your where you stand as far as your principles, your expectations. We take a deep dive look at all of that before you buy a mic, before you decide upon what social media platform you are going to be on, before we pick out any music. I would trust that if this is something that you've been thinking about for some time, you already pretty much have that nailed down. But I believe that we take it from the inside out so that when the 
days come up where you don't want to do a podcast, when it comes up where you you get a little bit foggy about your message, then you've done the inside work and it's like your anchor. This is what I really set up in my book. And the very first chapters are my anchor. I just put them out there for everybody to um, be very transparent and to, you know, gather, gather the information. I did it. You can do the same thing. Do the inside work and move on to your next. Move on into learning the technical part of podcasting, which scares a lot of people. Uh, people think that it takes a lot of money. Excuse me, I did a soft poll on uh, what's really holding people back from starting a podcast. And excuse me, a lot of people overwhelmingly said it's the lack of know-how, the, the lack of time. And I love podcasting and I study this stuff. I read it every day. And let, trust me, there are ways to, to factor it into your lifestyle if this is what you want to do. And once again, we get into podcasting from the inside out. What we love, we make room for. We really, really do. Maybe you can't podcast as often as you'd like. But ladies and gentlemen, there are over 700,000 active podcasts um, that are on that can be found on any given day. And after COVID-19 hit, I read that a lot more people have thrown their hat in the ring and they are podcasting. Uh, so I don't know what that actual number is now, but that is not a number that I take lightly. I see it as an opportunity for you because what we know for a fact is that there's a cutoff point for a lot of people. They get to a certain point and then they, they lose interest or become something that they decide that it, it's more than what they want. And they really are not, um, you know, they're, they're really not going to go any further. So what I'm trying to say is that now is a good time. Now is an excellent time for you to get into podcasting, be serious, build your structure so that it's firm and whatever happens, you are already viable and you are already in, you've already thrown your hat in the ring, you can be found. So those are some of the questions that people ask me to be sure to answer so that I can be very personable about what got me into, into podcasting. It really was a hobby for so long. And as I say, I found my voice. I would interview um, the musicians that I love and the unsigned musicians. I love, uh, there's something, a passion and a drive and a courage that those uh, men and women have, those that have been in the game a long time. And we all know that sometimes for most folks, the money is not that good, but the love of it. And, you know, you get to a place where you've mastered a, a, a instrument or you've mastered the business, the craft, and you get to a place where you are at the point of no return. They couldn't put down those instruments. They couldn't stop writing if they, if they had to. Those were the folks that I played their music and I interviewed them and I'm going to move back into that because one thing COVID-19 has, has um, led me to really, really understand is the power of our voice and the power of music bringing us together. There are so many distractions until it is so awesome to understand that there's life in the music. And we really, I, I think that I'm moving more towards bringing the music to you as I, as I bring the process of reinvention to you also. Let that be a shelter. Let that be a good distraction. Let that be a good uh, feeding of your soul. So I wasn't planning on sharing that tip, but uh, you know, that's exactly what's what's on the horizon for me. So uh, musicians, if you want some interview time, you want some air time, uh, just let me know. Okay, Marco, www.marcolevette.com. Reach out to me on my website and uh, let's make it happen. Let's see what can happen. All right. That's the power of having a podcast that's already in place and the structure is sound, you can 
as they say, pivot. You can add, you can branch out, you can build up, and you won't miss a beat. So now is the time to get your podcast going. So as I said, uh, the Podcast Academy online was built with the baby boomer in mind because I know that we are lifelong learners. I built it so that you can go through the academy at your own pace. If it takes you a year from uh, idea to launch, that's totally your business. There is no, um, there is no time frame set up at all. And every question has meaning. There are no stupid questions at the academy. I am very visible there. Every starting out every week, I'm going to make myself available to you for uh, questions and answers because I understand starting out, you know, you kind of get jammed up with some things. Some you want to make sure that you're laying that foundation correctly. So for those of you who get in early, I will be, we will have a hour long Zoom meetup where I will answer your questions and make sure that everybody's moving along, um, moving along the way that you want to move along. Like I say, there are no stupid, and there are no stupid questions. Let's get everything answered so that everybody is confident, they're strong. We're not comparing anybody with anything. I don't care if both of you all, if there we have two or three students at the academy and their their conversation is the same. It's not ever going to be the same because we're talking about three different people, and I will never treat you all the same. I will. I will guide everybody according to how you are working this thing out, building from the inside out. Everybody's not going to build their podcast the same way. All of us are going to build, build them with a business podcast, business model in mind versus just a hobby in mind. Uh, but everybody is going to build with your own flavor, with your own take with your own brand in mind. So I want everyone to know that it is a monthly membership business model. I'm quite comfortable with that. That allows you to be able to come in and, as I say, learn at your own pace. It allows me to be hands-on and meet you where you are. And we get enough people in the academy, then if you work better with an accountability group, you work better with a two or more people, then we can look into getting that formed. If you find, if, if you're like me, I, I came into this thing one on one. I took on the expense of hiring a uh, coach because I wanted that one on one time. I wanted their eyes on me at that time and me only. And I wanted to be able to ask all the questions that I wanted to ask and know that they had a feel for me, you know, that we were building a relationship. And that's exactly what happened. So when it was time to get before the graphic artist, when it was time to write the book, Quiet as Cut. I was content with uh, just podcasting, you know. Six months in, my strategist said, well, it's time for you to go ahead and do a, a book because everybody knows your guests and they know the podcast, but they don't know you. He is the reason why this went Amazon bestseller. So I say all that to say, I'm building this academy out exactly the way that I, the, exactly the way I was taught to build my podcast. And we are at the top of four years and it's time for me to give back, to pour into you all. I am going to have monthly meetups for everyone. And these conversations will be with other people who know about branding, We'll take deep dive conversations with people that can give you insight into branding, into, uh, into marketing. Let's take a deep dive look at the psychology of podcasting. We're going to take some deep dive looks at, at the industry. So we'll do that once a month, and that comes with your membership. 
So let's do this. I have a lot more that I could uh, give you, but uh, time is of the essence. Go to my website and be sure to, excuse me, oh, what am I doing burping? And I'm not going to check this out because I want everybody to understand um, authenticity is everything and burps and oomps and <laughs> all kinds of things are going to come up when you become a podcaster. Do not think you have to edit everything out. Don't even go into the podcast academy thinking that it has to be perfect. Don't try to be perfect. Don't come in with that nonsense. And I call, yeah, I'm calling it nonsense. Do not put that pressure on you. It's the bloopers that people like. I enjoy them, you know? So now I'm not taking that part out. No, I'm not, you know? Mm -mm. And I might even take a sip of water before it's all over. I don't care, you know? Give myself permission. So what I was saying is go to my website, margolevette.com, and uh, sign up for the newsletter. More information is coming concerning the uh, Podcast Academy online. I also want you to text reinvention, R-E-I-N-V-E-N-T-I-O-N, -E -E text that to 42828. Text reinvention, R-E-I-N-V-E-N-T-I-O-N, -E -E to the number 42828, and I will immediately get a free guide out to you. It's all about the podcast industry. Uh, maybe you're not interested in being a podcaster, but you want information concerning what's going on in the podcast industry. Once again, the Podcast Academy online is where you will find it where you will find that information. It's going to be a mecca for your uh, podcast industry infor information and inspiration. So really it's a threefold thing that, that I'm launching. I'm launching an academy so that you can take your idea, your message, you can become a podcaster. Point number two is maybe you just don't want to be a podcaster. You're part of the industry, a content writer. Maybe you uh, edit the audio, the video for different people. Maybe you are a virtual assistant in the podcast industry. You just want to stay up on top of what's going on in the industry. Then this is the right place for you. You, The Podcast Academy online is where you ought to be. And then perhaps you just are curious and you are a lifelong learner and you just want to um, prove something to yourself that you could, you could build, you could launch and, and just go right on from there. Then once again, you know, we're building from the podcast business model, but what you're going to end up with is a very robust podcast that if you change your mind, you're going to be able to expand out and build up and it's not going to fail you. So May the 11th is when we are actually launching and it's going to be officially launched. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And that, as a matter of fact, that's what, next week, week after next, when we are doing that, I just want to give you a heads up. Uh, go to my website, get on the newsletter. I will be getting more information to you. Text the reinvention to 42848. That's text reinvention to the number 42828. I'll get out the guide to podcast or not to podcast, and I also will follow up with more information concerning the uh, Podcast Academy online. I hope that you are as excited about this new development as I am. Let's take this journey together. If anybody's familiar with my book, Her Business, Her Voice, Her Reinvention, then you'll know the very first chapter of this book is all about the chalkboard. Let me open it up. And it's about, it's, it's who is Margot Levette? And I immediately have to take you to the chalkboard. Margot Levette is a woman that was born in the Midwest. Now she lives in sunny Southern California. She is a podcaster, two-time Amazon best-selling author, 
creator and the host of her business, her voice, her conversation. And she is the creator and the instructor of Podcast Academy Online. She came on today answering questions that people posed to her about her podcasting journey. Some of the guests who have been on my show have ended up as on magazine covers. Yes, they have. And so many have add, been able to add our conversation to their media kits. And yeah, some of the episodes have been have been featured on in Womel magazine. So the work has been put in. I have receipts and it is my joy and pleasure to meet you and to be your instructor. So let's leave it right there. I'll be back next week. I'm going to walk through some of the chapters in my book because as we get the camera shot on it, as we talk about uh, podcasting from the inside out, I want to be sure to add the perspective that's behind that because some of the early chapters of this book, we're going to cover that at the academy. It's And I, if I elaborate and give you the mindset that I had then when I wrote the book and that I still have, then it will make some things a little bit clearer when you're doing your uh, branding work. All right. So that's what's coming up in the next couple of all of May. Uh, it's going to be monologue time. You and me, I'll catch you up on what's going on with the Academy. And we're going to, I'm going to let you take some a deeper dive with me, the early chapters of her business, her voice, her reinvention, because I'm reinventing myself again. And so are you. Let's do this thing together because we can. I'm Margo LeVette. Her business, her voice, her conversation. I will see you next week, if not sooner. Bye-bye now. Thanks for hanging out with me. I so appreciate it. And you know what? Oh, one last thought. Meet me over on Facebook because each and every day I am out doing my walk and I always get these fabulous thoughts as I'm listening to the birds and I'm walking, I'm up to two miles and yeah, I'm patting myself on the back. Some people would say, mm, what is that? That's, that's baby steps. Well, hey, it's big for me, you know, and I'm, I'm owning that and I'm so happy about it. I'm grateful to be at that level and I'm leveling up each and every uh, time I go out. So meet me over on Facebook if you like. Uh, just a quick check-in and then um, meet me over. Once we officially launch, then I'm, I'll have more information. I have a bunch of freebies that are coming concerning the uh, pad, Podcast Academy online. All right, lest I ramble, I'm out of here. I'll see you next week. See you next time, okay? All right, bye-bye now.